morning, everybody. I'm excited about this video. I know you are excited about it because, ta-da! This is the Fenty Skin Starter Set. We're gonna put it on my face. We're gonna talk about all the ingredients. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Talk some Fenty Skin and some Rihanna. All right, so we'll get started right away. We'll just hop right into the products. This is the first one. It is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. They say this removes makeup, and I was a little bit hesitant about that. I, I've been using the products for about four or five days now, and I can say I really like all the products just right off the bat. This, I was a little bit like, mm, does it remove makeup? Here's the thing. I think it does remove makeup, but you do still have to double cleanse. So if you are gonna use this as your only cleanser, I still think you have to double cleanse. That said, there are some cleansers that are better than others at cleansing your makeup as your first cleanse. So if you're not gonna use a, an oil cleanser like I like to use, this could actually work. First, it comes in this nice kind of twist top, so you never have to open it up. And then the texture is really pretty, and you don't need a lot of it. That's what I learned over the last few days as I've been using it, is you don't really need a lot of it. So you can see that's this like, it's a gel-like texture, but it's very, it's very sticky, see? So it's a really nice texture. I would put it on first if you're gonna use it as a double cleanse. Put it on dry skin first, then, you know, like loosen up your makeup, maybe add a little bit of water to get the lather started, and then rinse it off and then do another cleanse with it, because I still think that you need a double cleanse when you are going to wash your face at night. If you're washing your face in the morning, then you only need one cleanse. You don't need a lot of it. You don't even need this much, as much as I used. I'm gonna show you. It gets really lathery. It's a very nice lather. Look at that. I just added a little bit of water and look at the lather on that. So nice and luxurious. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't consider this a foaming cleanser. I would consider this to be a really nice lathering cleanser. It has glycerin in it and some other ingredients that really help to soothe your skin and to also hydrate your skin, which I love in a cleanser because that's what you need. I think, you know, if you're gonna, especially if you're gonna wash your face in the morning, which I don't always do because I don't wanna strip my skin, I want my cleansers to be hydrating and to be soothing. And this has those types of ingredients in it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it so you can see just how much it lathers. And like I said, you don't need as much as I use because it really does lather it that well. And because it has that nice lather, I do think it will remove makeup. But again, I would do double cleanse still. My skin feels nice and bouncy. I love that there are hydrating ingredients, like I said, there are tons of antioxidants in this. There is the Barbados cherry, which is very appropriate for Rihanna. You know, in a cleanser form, it's not L-ascorbic acid, but it is an antioxidant. It's still gonna help to brighten your skin a little bit. All the antioxidants in this are really just going to help to strengthen your skin and make it more resilient and everything. There is ginkgo biloba, so that is to help oil and shine, but what I find about this cleanser is that it's good for all skin types. I think people that have oily skin are really going to enjoy it though. If you have really dry skin, you might not like it, or if you have really sensitive skin, you might not like the fragrance in it, but otherwise it's very nice, luxurious, very rich, lathery cleanser. So let's move on to the next product before my skin gets too dry. All right, the next product, this is my absolute favorite product of the entire line. This is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. It's an essence. Like it is, it's not a toner, it's not a serum. It is an essence. As soon as I started to use this, as soon as I tried it, I was like, ah, they took a cue from Korean skincare. And then I started to really look at like, the ingredients and play with everything. And over the last few days, I was like, you know what? This is awesome. I think a lot of people were worried and this is what I saw in my questions on Instagram. People were worried if this would be, you know, just a, a you know, another celebrity skincare line or if this would be, you know, not a serious skincare line. And I wouldn't call it super serious yet because this is just the first three products that they've introduced. And they're very straightforward products that can be, you know, part of anybody's skincare routine. They don't have like their major actives in their product line yet, 
which they might end up having. But I will, I will say this is pretty serious. This is the best that I've seen so far as far as an actual celebrity skincare line. So with this, you twist it and then you squeeze it. It took me a second to figure this out. So I was like, if it's a toner, do I use? Actually, I'm gonna use a lot. You don't have to use that much, but I'm going to. So look, it's an essence to me because it borders on being like a serum, but it's lighter. It's more liquidy, but it has a plush texture to it. It's very cushiony. It has fragrance in it, but the main ingredients are niacinamide, which made me so happy that we've got a skincare line that's basically gonna reach the masses now that has niacinamide as one of its main ingredients. This also has Barbados cherry in it, so a vitamin C antioxidant going to help to brighten your skin and make it more resilient and strengthen it. So you can see it absorbed into my skin right away. I'm gonna go in one more time because it feels nice and light and I'm still talking to you guys. I want my skin to still be dewy. But you can see I can put on two layers and it's still, it just feels nice and light. So again, there is fragrance. One thing that I wanna point out about the fragrance in this is that it's not a lot of fragrance. It's still fragrance, but one tip is if you look at the ingredient list, you'll see that the preservative in here in these products is phenoxyethanol, and you can only have 1% phenoxyethanol max. Not everybody uses that much of it, so whatever is below it is going to be less than 1%. I'm gonna assume it's probably less than that, so. It's not a lot of fragrance. I think Rihanna did a good job and her team at picking out ingredients that are very gentle on the skin. They work for all skin types. Niacinamide, this is the year for niacinamide. Everybody is going to know what niacinamide is and it's going to brighten everyone's skin. It will help to reduce all of your dark spots. It will help with your excess sebum production. So this is a great product for all skin types. There are other antioxidants in this like green tea. There is fig extract in here. So there are just some really nice ingredients. You know, people are gonna point out that there's witch hazel in this, but this is an alcohol free toner. It's not gonna dry your skin. There are so many hydrating ingredients in this. So it's not going to dry out your skin. It feels very, very nice, very, very light. And you can put on any other serums and actives afterwards because it does just feel so, so light. And then last is this. This is the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Plus SPF. It's SPF 30. This is meant to be a moisturizer that is also a sunscreen, or maybe it's supposed to be a sunscreen that moisturizes your skin. Either way, it's meant to be one step. So I really love this product. The minute I received this and found out that there was an SPF, in the first three products that were being introduced by Fenty Skin, I was so happy, so, so happy. This is very, very hydrating for the skin. It's very moisturizing too. So you gotta turn it, actually, and I wanna show you guys this too. So it comes, this is also the best part of it. So the packaging is really, really interesting because it comes separated like this and it's refillable. So you just pop that in and then you can squeeze it. But look at that, that is not your typical sunscreen kind of texture at all. That is a moisturizer. And you can see it starts to, it's got a glue right away. So it's a really nice hydrating sunscreen. I would actually use more than this, but you can see how hydrating it is and moisturizing it is to the skin. It has a nice, nice texture to it. And it does not leave a white cast on my skin, obviously, but you know, I saw a few other people using it that have different skin tones. And they all said, it does not leave a white cast. It really is nice. And can I tell you, I actually enjoy the fragrance. This leaves you glowing. And I don't even have really good lights on in here. I'm not, I'm not trying to film with like round lights or anything like that. This is my bathroom lighting and I have some lights just kind of right in front of me. Look at that, that nice, beautiful glow. Let's talk about the ingredients. This is a chemical sunscreen. I know people are always talking about finding mineral sunscreens for their skin, but honestly, I think it's more about finding a broad spectrum sunscreen that you will enjoy using on your skin. This is reef safe. You know, I know a lot of people are really concerned about that and it's a good thing to be concerned about. So this also has hydrating ingredients in it. So I was talking about 
how it feels so nice since it is a moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It has other really nice hydrating ingredients and moisturizing ingredients in it. It also has niacinamide in it, so you get more of that brightening effect. And again, if you have oily skin, you're especially going to love that. The only thing I would say is that if you do have oily skin, you might not like using the amount that you're supposed to use. I did try this under makeup. For me, it's great because I like to have a thick moisturizer on. This isn't the thickest moisturizer I've ever used. So it definitely is somewhere down the middle, but it's, you know, for oily skin, you know, the first two products were meant for all skin types with a little bit of a concentration on people with oily skin. And then I'd say this is more in the middle. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like I said, it's very hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It has aloe vera in it. It has Biobob, which is also just very hydrating to the skin. It has niacinamide in it. So you're getting a little bit more of that. I love that niacinamide is being introduced to the masses. I really do. It makes me so excited and so happy. And then it just has antioxidants in it. So, you know, everything in this line is just nice. It has antioxidants. They're all, you know, ingredients like niacinamide that work for most skin types and play well with other active ingredients. And you can introduce all of this into your current skincare routine and it's not going to disrupt anything. You're not gonna have to worry like, does this work in my skincare routine if I'm using a retinoid or if I'm using tretinoin or anything like that? All of it is going to be great for your current skincare routine. And that's one of the things that I love about it. I really do think that Fenty Skin is taking a cue from Korean skincare, which makes me so happy because everything has that nice feel and texture and nice light fragrance to it. Korean skincare has fragrance in it. The price range also is between $25 to $35. And with this kind of packaging that's reusable and stuff, I think that's awesome. I think that's a great, pretty accessible price point for a lot of people. I read a few people say that they were disappointed that these were the three products that they were coming out with and they felt very boring, but I'll say I think they feel very exciting because when I think about what I had when I was a teenager and in my early 20s getting into skincare, I had things like the Clinique three-step system or Seabreeze or Noxzema or Clean and Clear. This is on a whole other level, you know, introducing a three-step skincare routine that I think is very important for everybody to have. You've got your cleansing, you've got your serum that can actually brighten your skin too. So it's your like essence serum, toner serum, and then you've got your sunscreen moisturizer. If this line gets a lot more people to wear their sunscreen, people with darker skin tones that don't think that they need sunscreen, teenagers who don't think about sunscreen, just people in general who aren't wearing their sunscreen because they're not skincare fanatics like everybody that watches my channel. This is going to be an amazing line for people. I'm so excited for people to try it out. I'm definitely purchasing some for my two nieces because they're pumped. And that's what tells me, I mean, that's what makes me so excited. When I know that younger people are super pumped to start using a full skincare routine with a sunscreen, that's exciting, everybody. That is exciting. That means that skincare is getting serious all over the place. It's not just for the people who are skincare fanatics. And obviously, this is only the beginning. There are going to be more Fenty Skin products coming very, very soon, I'm sure of it. And I'm excited to see what comes out because this is not a joke. And I think it's really exciting. There is not a scrub in here. There is sunscreen and there's niacinamide. People, we have a skincare line by Rihanna that has niacinamide and sunscreen in it. I think that's an amazing thing. This is 2020 and skincare has come a long way and I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna have shopping links as soon as they're available. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm excited to get your thoughts on this. Tell me if you're planning to purchase it and I'll talk to you guys soon. You can find me on Instagram, at Susan Yara. I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.